Well, okay, looks like I need to do a more thorough video on our Fusion experience and an update. So here we go. Hey, it is the Gionu system and we are a year plus into Fusion and we're planning on doing an update video when someone sent us a message asking about our Fusion journey and we were like, oh yeah, you can just look back in. No, I didn't answer that question there. More than that one. Ah, uh, well, okay. Looks like I need to do a more thorough video on our Fusion experience and an update. So here we go. So first, um, I want to say that I'm not here to glorify Final Fusion and I don't think that that is the end all be all for multiples. Uh, when the person asked me, they asked me about my journey and how we achieved Final Fusion. And I was like, no, 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 no. Our goal was health, whatever that looked like for us. And I think that that is a really good goal for multiples, whether they end with Final Fusion or whether they end with functional multiplicity. I don't think that the, either one of those ends is something that should be pushed. I think them like trying to find health for themselves is the best thing. So I want to start there. When I talk about fusion, I'm always in the back of my mind thinking, I don't want to glorify this just because this has been good for me. So I want y'all to hear that. Um, it is my concern that a lot of multiples seeking final fusion are seeking it because they want to silence other altars. And that is not what happens. So um, when this person asked me how we achieved final fusion, uh, the first thing I talked about was like, we had come to a place of love and acceptance, all of us for one another. So, you know, if you're a system, there are altars that have beef with other altars and just like, eh. we had worked through our issues and were working really well together. It was very good. We were happy. Um, so we were working well together and then we had been pursuing um, trauma processing, especially for the trauma holders so that they could have um, greater relief of PTSD symptoms. But this was like a long process. We did not start with trauma processing. That is not a beginner place you start with. You start with like them just being okay. And that took a long time. And then uh, we started uh, processing. We processed with all kinds of methods. Uh, including EMDR, our favorite being deep brain or reorienting, um, DBR. And um, we were processing that so that our trauma holders could be more at ease. So this was the point where we, where we were at when JA asked for the umpteenth time to fuse with Jenna. So JA had been asking for at least a year at this point to fuse with Jenna um, because uh, she was like, Jenna needs anger in her daily life uh, in order to have the best functioning or in order to be safer for all of us. And she doesn't have access to that. Um, we, we have to switch. Um, and so uh, when she had asked before, E had some serious reservations about the fusion. Um, Jenna was always like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm down. Um, you know, we'll just see what happens. J.A. was very much wanting this, but E was like, mm. So um, after a year of this, more processing, more learning to work with one another and love and accept one another, um, the last distinct conversation uh, heard prior to Fusion, uh, Jenna was um, on the, the cusp of sleep and heard E and J.A. talking about fusion once again. And J.A. was like, hey, I'd like to fuse with Jenna and I think it'll work this time because of these reasons. Um, and that was the last distinction, distinct conversation she heard. After that, uh, began became a process of being more and more blendy. So the person who had messaged us asked, like, how did all the alters come to agree? And we don't think that was what was set out to happen, that like what was set out was there was gonna be this fusion over here. But as that was taking place, like we think the others were like, you know, let's try this. There was very much a feeling of um, 
like that this could be undone. It was not like, oh, this is it and permanent. Um, and I don't know how it is for other multiples, but for us, it was very much a voluntary sense that like, if this was not going well, we could undo this. We could walk it back. Um, and so as time progressed post fusion, like it felt like it deepened and, and like became more cohesive. Um, which leads me to her other question, which was, um, how are y'all more functional now than you were before? Because we were functional before we like, it was going well. Um, and that was part of the sense of like, we could undo this. It was like, will we function better this way? Um, so I can say now a year plus in that, um, we have a greater sense of self, um, a better bead on what do I want? What don't I want? What do I like? What don't I like? Um, and that's hard to explain, but I think having a greater expression of self took a while to get used to. It took a while to understand that normal can have a a swing, a, a breath to it. Um, and so it is easier now to check in and to know I might not always be in the mood for X, Y, Z. Like maybe certain alter always liked it and certain alter always hated it. And now it's a matter of like, is this something I want right now, today, whatever. Um, but it's not like, a muddly thing. It's not like, I don't know who I am or what I want. It's just like, hmm, let me check. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want that. That by itself is kind of amazing. Uh, so, um, yeah, greater sense of self, a greater understanding of like, what I want versus what I don't want. Um, maybe a greater ability to understand that. Because I think always within this, there was that breadth of like opinion, but how does one understand that? Um, when you're not attached to all of your internal information. And so now being attached to all that information, there's a better way of understanding and navigating those things. So that's really been helpful in day-to-day -day life. Another thing that's helpful is while we were very functional, worked really well together, we could trigger a switch if needed. Like if an ultra was out and didn't have access to the ability, thought, whatever of an ultra that was needed for a situation, like sometimes all our skills would not be able to trigger an ultra to the front. Uh, and now, even if we are um, more, of a certain alters traits forward. Like if you look at my weird dancing video, we kind of give a illustration for that and I'll link that somewhere up here. Um, so even if we're more of a certain alters traits forward, we can always access the traits, the abilities, the memories of the whole. Um, and so that has increased our functionality um, in our daily lives as well. Uh, and I discuss in another video on the downsides that that did come with the things we had not processed and were not good at also being added to the whole and being available at all times. So we did have an increase in anxiety in certain situations that we then needed to take to therapy and work through. So a year in, pronouns are still slippy, but I is now something for first person memories of alters who weren't perhaps in the front at the time, which is something new, uh, where before the pronoun I was more for whoever was fronting when that story happened. Um, but now I can be for like any of us who happen to be at the time, we tend to use names more for distinction. Um, but so, we and I are pretty interchangeable, even though there feels very much ownership of self, um, which is weird and hard to explain. There is, 
we still have lots of dreams about us. Uh, we dream about the big house. We dream about each other and their dreams that are good. Like it's nice to feel like we are all still accounted for, all still healthy. Like honestly, those, those dreams bring us a lot of joy. Um, but aside from that, we still see the traits of each other in our daily life. Um, probably as much as each alter fronted is how often those traits are in our day-to-day -day life. So uh, we still see some fabulous Anthony about as much as you would have fronted in various situations. Um, we see Lil the most uh, as she was like one of the main fronters. Um, but we don't see it as like, there's not a switch. There's not an alteration of perceptions because with a switch, there will be visual perceptions, taste perceptions, memory changes, all of that, um, that would like switch change along with the alter switching in. Um, we don't have that when those traits are more forward. It's just more a, um, continuum. It's more of like the spectrum of who we are now. So there's not a hard distinction in between switches. It's just like a, like, oh, and now this, if you're thinking of a rainbow, now red is more forward. Oh, now we're seeing a lot more violet, but it just flows more one into another instead of being these hard, distinct lines. Um, it's harder with the altars that were more covert because their presentation is still also more covert. Um, but we still see like, Caleb, those quiet, subdued, like, I just, I just want to like be my myself and be like kind of tucked in sort of feelings. Um, and there's still those moments of bubbly, like, um, pudding, for example, Lil would lose her mind. Whoever was eating pudding, it was, oh my God, she would be to the front when we have pudding, all that joy is still there without the, the switch, like a, tr like a, but it's, oh my God, pudding, yay. But it still feels like a continuous sense of self. And it has been hard. It's been an adjustment. Um, it's definitely been different. Uh, definitely hard on um, when, when times are rough, when, certain alters would switch in to take care of a difficult time. Like now we're all in here with all the resources that are available and sometimes with all the anxieties that are available. Um, and uh, I can definitely see why fusions come apart during hard times because there's a sense that like, if that's what we needed to get through it, if we needed to section off again, we would. Um, like I, I can feel that, like we can feel the, if you can think of the, that art where they uh, put the plate back together with gold, we can feel where our edges are um, in this thing that we are now. And if needed to be, we could pull apart, but the longer we are together, like it's like the stronger that bond becomes. Um, And I think it becomes stronger because like we're more sure. It's not like a time thing. It's like experience. And then like we can sink into it a little bit more like a, like an exhale, like, okay, this, this is working for us. It's funny. This is not one of my more easy videos. And I think it's just, I don't know. Things are different. Things are just different. Um, writing is different. <laughs> it's the thing I do every day and I'm so aware that like in little subtle ways, it's it's different. It's easier though, like plus, I guess everybody coming together, we got more skills all in there. Um, we'll see when my third book comes out uh, to my Survivor series, if um, like, if the tone shifts a little, y'all will have to let me know. So um, I'll, 
there's going to be a link somewhere in the description where you can get the books and check them out. But the first two and then the third one, you'll have to let me know if there's a tone shift. But it's definitely been easier going. It's harder in those moments where an altar would switch in because it was like this was the brain's route and we feel like we feel it us going toward okay here's the time for a switch but instead of a switch it's like okay now what <laughs> like it's just different and everybody asks do you miss it everybody asks do you miss them which i can't miss them because we're we're all here what i can miss is the individuality the distinction the this is what we do in this sort of a situation. This person comes forward and they're gonna rip somebody a new butthole and then someone else is gonna come out later and when it's safe, like, we miss the distinction. We miss, like, that. But we don't miss each other because we're all still here. And that's, like, kind of the best um, is that we're all still here and we're all, like, available for each other in a way that we were not before. So, you know, here we are, a year in, and it, it's different, we're different. Um, fusion has largely still been a very positive for us. It has continued to deepen. I think we'll always probably tend toward we pronouns slipping in there because like, you know, when you can't unsee something. So maybe yes, with internal family systems, Everybody has internal parts, but ours were very external. They would take over. They would do their own thing. They had their own minds. They had their own visual perceptions. The way they saw things and tasted things was literally different than others in the system. And we know what that's like. So even though those parts are more internal now, probably a lot more like a singlet. I don't think we'll ever fully be like a singlet. We know ourselves in a more deep and intimate way than most people. And um, yeah, so that's us a year plus post fusion. If you have any questions, Phil, Free to leave them in the comments. Bye. Because it's, you know, I really don't know how to explain having a, a greater sense of self now. There's greater parts all in here. Um, <clears throat>